Hi guys, Otto here. And some of you currently offer two products to control your shutters, blinds and screens with an app. The Tahoma Switch has been around for a while, but now there's also the Somfy Connectivity Kit. The Connectivity Kit is a small device that turns your phone into a remote control by installing the Tahoma app on it. You then connect it to your Wi-Fi network and pair the motors. And from then on, you can control your shutters and awnings from your phone. So what are the differences between the connectivity kit and the switch? First of all, the Tahoma switch has a suggested retail price of 199 euros and a connectivity kit a price of 69 euros. So that's already a big difference and such a price difference often indicates that there will be some differences what you're able to do. However, for both you use the same Tahoma app, but it's more limited for the connectivity kit. So you can think of the connectivity kit as a means of turning your cell phone into a remote control. And Toma Switch then is a device to create a smart home via an app. It's important to realize that for programming you always need a remote control. So even though the connectivity kit is kind of a remote control, you cannot program motors with it. In my opinion, the big difference between the two, apart from the price of course, is that the Tahoma can make things happen automatically. For example, having the shutters closed at 8 o'clock at night. With a connectivity kit, you have to remember to open the app at 8 o'clock and press a button on the screen to close everything. And that is the biggest criticism of the connectivity kit. Many people want a remote control and a time control, nothing else. For RTS devices, the Tele 6 was a perfect product for that. In I.O. we have nothing that is cheap and not complicated. The connectivity kit could have filled a gap, but now it doesn't, and that's too bad. But back to the differences between the two products. If you look at the number of the motors you can control, the connectivity kit allows you to control up to 20 motors. For most people, that's more than enough, as 20 shutters or blind is quite a lot. Depending on whether you choose RTS or I.O., you can control 200 or more devices with a switch, so you won't reach that limit easily, even if you're a real Somfy fan. You can't complain about the number of scenarios with the connectivity kit either, as you can create up to 20. With the Tahoma, you can create 80, some of which can be started manually, some automatic, and some advanced. As mentioned, you can only manually start each scenario in the connectivity kit. There's no difference in which motors you can control. Both the Tahoma switch and the connectivity kit can control RTS and I.O. motors. With the switch, you can also control Z-Wave devices, which is not possible with the connectivity kit. Control via Google Home, Alexa and Apple HomeKit can also be done on both devices and IFTTT is also available for both the Tahoma and the connectivity kit. If you want to control more than just motors from Somfy, then the Tahoma switch is the only option, as you can link sensors and cameras to it. That is not possible with the connectivity kit. And finally, the Philips Hue can also be only be controlled with the Tahoma switch and not with the connectivity kit. As a final difference between the two, we have a small detail. The Tahoma switch comes with a USB cable and power adapter. The connectivity kit comes only with a USB cable. Kind of a shame because you then have to get one from another device. So hopefully you have one in your drawer, otherwise you have to buy it separately somewhere. As a conclusion, we can say that these two devices are completely different if you look at how you can use them. The connectivity kit turns your phone into a remote control, and I can imagine that being handy when you get home and want to run some scenarios quickly. It can also become a habit to turn on a scenario before you go to bed, for example. Furthermore, you can put your remotes in the drawer, although pressing a button on a wireless switch can also be very quick and easy. The switch is a lot more expensive in comparison to the connectivity kit, but it's still not a very expensive device. I actually would prefer it myself because you can run scenarios automatically. Once set, you then don't have to think about it, and during the holidays, it's a handy feature. The ability for the Tahoma switch to link sensors is also very convenient because this way you can keep the temperature pleasant and save costs for cooling the room for example. The good news is there are two options now available so you can choose whichever one's best for you. We already have the connectivity kit in the shop and in stock so below the video you'll find a link where you can order it for 69 euros. If you have any questions about the connectivity kit or the switch you can send an email to info at For now thanks for watching and see you the next one.